Yo, welcome guys, welcome, welcome, welcome back to the channel. If you don't know, this is your boy, 77 on the beats. Right, so today we're just going to cover a few things about mixing 808, your bass, all right? So we're going to jump right into it and get started just like this. I'm just going to play the bass on its own without any effects, okay, so you can have a listen. So as you can see, it's just simple. Okay, so that's simple. Okay, so what we're gonna do, um, we're gonna add some distortion. Okay, so in order to get there, you click there, you go down to distortion. Right, so you can use any distortion that you prefer. As you can see, in Logic, you have about six different distortion. You got the Beat Crusher, Clip Distortion, Distortion, Distortion 2 Overdrive, and Phase Distortion. Okay, for today's, in tutorial we're just going to use distortion too okay i've already have it in the system already so i'm just going to click out of that and i'm going to bring this in front okay so as you can see i have created my own um preset i've already set it to the way i want it okay as you can see with distortion 2 you have pre-gain the drive and you got tone okay you also if you click here you get Five different settings where you can get the class a b which is hard and you go soft you go nasty bitty growl it depends on what style you're looking for so for the pre-gain i set that at minus 5 dv db and for the drive we got 0 0.73 and a tone minus four okay i'm gonna play it without it then you will understand once i introduce it it just give you that nice subtle um, distortion to the bass so as you can see now, once we apply that distortion to it, it just makes the bass sounds more full, okay? All right, so next, what we're gonna do, you need the EQ, right? So, we're gonna bring up the EQ, right? Let me just get you into this. It's the same procedure. If you wanna find the EQ, you, you click right there, you go down to EQ where it says there, you got different choices, which you, whichever you choose is up to you. Okay, I'm just gonna go for the standard EQ, all right? so let me just take that off so what we want to do with the eq we want to take off some of the lows and take off some of the eyes and i boost the mids okay just for some harmonics uh, by one db okay so it not gonna make much different changes but you will hear it's just basically make it a little bit rounder You understand so once we apply the eq it just makes the vein of bass a bit rounder there you go so that but that bass is that 808 is sounding sweet next thing we want to do we want to compress it so we can bring out some of the lower frequencies okay so we use the standard standard platinum bass okay Get our bass, we go down to it, get our bass, boom, bam, here we are, right there, platinum bass, okay, so that's just going to give it a sweet sound, that's just going to make it a little bit louder, can you see what I'm talking about, now the bass more, is more rich, that 808 just stands out more, see what I'm saying? So for the ratio, we keep it a little standard. Two, we do minus 20 dB on the knee. Release, release, we keep it about 51. Attack, we keep that 110. Okay, so you can just follow what I've got here so you can create your own 
okay normally you could side chain it if you if you got like a kick you could side chain it to the kick so when the kicks comes in the bass is a bit more quiet okay don't quote me on that <laughs> i'm joking yeah so that's what it is and as you can see that's what and that's how i mix my 808 okay hope you enjoy this i'm keeping it short and simple listen please subscribe to the channel like check out my music my release okay and have a good one catch you again soon